What's going on everyone? Uh, I was out today running some errands and I swung by uh, Marshalls here in New York City. Uh, it's Marshalls in the Bronx. And uh, I was looking uh, for a few different things, uh, shirts, uh, men's dress shirts and clothes. I didn't find uh, any shirts that I liked, but they had a, a, a decent selection of cologne. Uh, and I used to collect colognes. I used to have numerous bottles of colognes at any given time over the years. And uh, I kind of uh, uh, stopped that. And uh, I now, at any given point, I have one, two, or three bottles, and I have a signature scent. I need to upgrade that signature scent. Uh, my all-time, one of my all-time favorite colognes was a cologne from English Laundry called Arrogant by Christopher Wicks. I absolutely fell in love with that cologne. Uh, and I really hadn't made any kind of effort to track it down, find it and buy it. But uh, today at Marshall's, I was happy to see not uh, Arrogant by Christopher Wicks in the display case, but another English laundry cologne uh, called Signature. Signature by Christopher Wicks. Uh, and that's what this video is about. I'm going to uh, talk about the signature cologne uh, and give my impression. And let's go ahead right now and get started with this. Let's go. So I took off the top and I smelled it in there and it just from smelling like this, it smells, it smells like uh, arrogant uh, somewhat. And I'm telling you now, I'm able to focus a little more and get a few more whiffs of this than I could at the store. And I can tell you right now that this smells good. It's reminiscent of arrogant. Uh, huh. I can tell I'm going to like this. So let me go ahead and let me spray some now. So from what I remember, uh, Arrogant smells better to me, but this is very reminiscent of Arrogant. It is very similar. It would be a related fragrance. And if one likes Arrogant, I think one would like Signature. Uh, it is light. It is some, it is citrusy. Uh, it is, it's got a little bit of a, a powdery sort of smell to it, scent. Uh, it's crisp. I would describe it as crisp. It is not strong. It's not overpowering. Uh, it's sharp, but it is a piercing sharpness, sort of citrus sharpness. I, it's it smells somewhat uh, it, green like a sort of a, if you know green fragrances it's got some of that sort of uh, green freshness to it and it is very pleasant it is light so this is not I think in my opinion this is not something that would be overpowering and something that would be uh, offensive to a lot of folks uh, and I guess it, it is it is a it is it is a subtle fragrance it is I think something that could be worn uh, in different seasons uh, I'm going to wait for the dry down to, to continue giving my thoughts about it. I'm also going to step away from the camera and ask my wife to smell it and get her 
impressions, but my very, very, very initial impressions are that it is uh, good, it's great smelling, it, it's light, it's fresh, it's a multi-use or it's something that can be used for in different settings. Uh, I could wear this with a, a in a business setting with a suit or wearing a very casual outfit, but it 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 fades away very quickly and this this is one that I'm not a cologne expert so you know keep that in mind but this is not a cologne in my opinion that projects very well and I don't know about longevity I mean it's so light to me again very pleasant very refreshing but um, I, I would be concerned about longevity uh, and projection uh, and you know, it's, a, it's a very neutral smelling. It's not, it's got some degree of sweetness to it, uh, but it is, uh, I, I would not characterize it as a sweet fragrance, but again, I'm not an expert, keep that in mind. But in terms of how projection uh, how subtle or light it is uh, or not. I'm going to, again, step away from the camera and let's see. I'm not even going to say anything to my wife, but I'm just going to see if she picks up on the scent uh, and uh, the fragrance and see what she says. And I'll be right back, folks. Okay? All right? Be right back. All right, everybody. I am back and I am so glad that I asked my wife because uh, I don't think I did a good job uh, describing it. Again, I said I'm no expert, but I really need to figure out what the basics are in terms of conveying, if doing a review, how something smells. Uh, but I'm doing my best, folks. I just really think that some people might like this. But my wife, I think, uh, she, I, I, I'm glad that I asked her. She, uh, I want to share with you what she said. I wrote down. I said, let me, I got, a, I got a napkin and a pen. I wrote down what she said because I thought she was very good, very descriptive, and she was able to, I think, capture uh, way better than I uh, what this smells like. So she said, so first, I just had this. I walked over to her, and I just stood about two and a half feet away from her talking to her to see if she would say something about, uh, notice the clone and say something. And she didn't notice the clone. So I guess I was right about how you know projection and uh, that it was light, that there wasn't a lot of projection with this uh, fragrance. And I was right, I think, that it is light. And then we were talking and I said, can I have a kiss? And I gave her a kiss and I, and she didn't notice it. And then I said, give me a hug. And I, and I gave her a hug and she said something like, mm, it smells good, you smell good, something like that. It smells good. She knew that I had bought the cologne. Uh, and I says, what do you think about it? She says, it's nice. And I said, what does it make you think of? And she said, you know, it makes me think of like a Versace type cologne. It's like, you know, she said that it was a quality, smells like a quality uh, fragrance. Uh, and then this is what I wrote down. She said it was fresh. I said it was fresh. And then she said, it makes me think of the ocean, like it's oceanic is what she said. And then she said that uh, it, it reminds her of pepper. Now she doesn't like spicy and very peppery type colognes, but she likes this. So she said this was in not a black pepper way, but uh, but but it nonetheless had a peppery type of uh, a smell to it. And she said it makes her think of waves. So I asked her to expound upon that. Uh, and she's and but before I get to that, she said it's more fresh then it is sweet uh and she said it makes her think of an escape and and then she went on to clarify an escape from the city she said something like uh you know we're here of course in new york city and it, she said it takes you away from the city she said it takes you away from the city and that it makes you she said it's it smells it makes you feel like you're at the ocean uh and it makes you think of or feel like you're on a vacation. And I, uh, I, I really agree with that. The other thing is that 
it's one of those colognes where I don't, I smell it every now and then. So I was walking around and when I smelled it, it is one of those things that it's a pleasing reminder that you're wearing something very nice, very special. And I, and it passed the test with my wife. She really likes it. She made the point that, oh, and I, I showed you the bottle, but this was $14.99. So she said, it's really good for the price. And I can't agree more. I'm very, very pleased with this purchase. Now, actually, let me look up uh, what the way this is described by English Laundry. Let me see if I can find it on their website and try to like and tell you what the base notes are and, uh, and you know, what the various uh, ingredients are and, and, and so forth. Uh, and, you know, the top notes, the base notes. So I'll be right back. All right. So again, this is by Christopher Wicks. And uh, I went to the English Laundry uh, website and uh, they have uh, listed the signature fragrance, uh, English Laundry signature, this cologne. Um, and they list uh, the different scents that uh, are in this fragrance uh, and they've broken them down into the categories of the top notes, mid notes, and base notes. Um, and uh, the first top note that they list is lavender. Uh, and I think that's where some of the sweetness comes from. Again, it's not too sweet, uh, but it's got lemon as a top note. And that explains the citrus sort of uh, scent. Uh, the freshness as well because uh, lemons are fresh and they have a sharpness to them. When I mentioned uh, that it has a sharp uh, smell and a, a, a citrusy smell, that makes sense. It's from the lemon. Uh, and then the other uh, top note that they list is cedar. And in terms of the mid notes, they list two spices. Uh, they list nutmeg. Uh, and I, I like the smell of nutmeg and I don't know that I can smell it. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, they also list coriander. Uh, and so I do detect a spiciness. And of course, that's where that's coming from. Uh, I wouldn't consider this to be uh, a very spicy uh, cologne. And then in terms of the base notes, uh, they list vetiver. And I love vetiver. I love colognes that have vetiver. So there's it's no surprise to me that I would really like this. Um, and um, and I can pick up, it's, it's, it's there, the vetiver. I smell that. Uh, they list uh, sandalwood is the second uh, base note. And um, I guess I can detect that somewhat. Uh, and the third base note uh, is musk. Uh, and I think that's where the, the creaminess or, or the powdery sort of what I, I initially explained, it smelled powdery and that's probably coming from uh, the musk base note. Those are the notes that are uh, in this English Laundry uh, Signature Cologne. And I think it's a good one. It's definitely uh, 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 a very, very good smelling cologne that I think I'll be able to wear in many different settings. And I think it has a good deal of flexibility and I could wear this dressed up and in a casual outfit and so forth. And the bonus uh, is that my wife really, really likes it. So that makes it even more worthwhile in terms of wearing it. The more I think about it, the more that I really want to buy uh, the English Laundry Arrogant. It smells amazing and this smells great. Uh, and so I'm happy with this purchase. I hope that this helps somebody out there who has heard about this and they're considering it, they're doing their research and maybe they're on the fence or uh, Maybe they are just looking for a new cologne and they didn't have this in mind. With all that said, you know what I'm saying. I hope that one person at least finds this useful. 
Uh, and, you know, uh, it'd be great if others would find this useful as well. But again, these are my initial impressions. I'm not a cologne expert. Uh, and I hope to get better so that I could uh, accurately convey what cologne smell like because I love colognes. I want to start collecting them again. Uh, and so with that said, uh, I look forward to uh, buying more colognes, but also sharing my finds with all of you. Uh, drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you have this cologne or if you're thinking about buying it, share your thoughts related to this English Laundry signature cologne or colognes that may be similar or, you know, anything related, any comment related to uh, colognes, men's colognes. I'd like to hear thoughts uh, if you have recommendations and so forth. With all of that said, I hope that you all have an amazing day, a wonderful week and so forth. Take care and until next time.